like two weeks ago, I broke my stylus. It basically got like stuck in my phone. So that's cute. And I was literally halfway through a drawing. So like it sucked. So like today, basically, we're going to draw for the first time since my stylus broke. This is the piece that I was halfway done with before my stylus broke. I was initially going to post it as a short, but I figured I should do my monthly long form video. I don't have any footage of me like doing the sketch or anything. So this is what we're starting off with. Um, for the background, I was really contemplating what to do, I just wasn't sure. So I was basically debating on whether it was going to be a cool or warm tone lighting. I first chose some cool greens. I don't know how to draw grass really. So I'm just like making soft cloud bubble thingies that I don't, I don't know how to explain, but, but like, this is what we're doing. Her base color really doesn't match the background because it's literally warm toned and the background's kind of cool, but it's going to change. It's going to change. Also, this is my lovely Persona Scenic Rose. I don't have footage of me finishing the background, so I don't know what to do, but I drew some pretty flowers. I was adding some shadows beneath them and refining the grass because like, I don't know how to draw grass. I was kind of looking at the bigger picture, so instead of focusing on each individual blade of grass, I kind of saw them as like more of a whole shape, if that makes any sense. I'm just laying down the base colors of the clothes and using warm tones as usual. Oh how I love drawing blush. Super pro tip number one. If you guys want a really natural looking lip color, use the blush color. But like if you're like me and you want to draw makeup then you can do whatever you want also doing this sort of shading kind of follows a natural shape of lips and also adds some depth um basic skin shading right now super pro tip number two outline the skin with like a more saturated slightly darker color to add depth it literally looks so good i think i've said this like a billion times now but who cares the clothes are pretty simple um, I'm keeping the warm tone colors and shifting hues a bit to keep it from being muddy. And I'm honestly really liking how these wrinkles are turning out. Um, like, I was struggling a bit on the nose and was truly contemplating making her that one dude from the, the wizard book with the no nose. I forgot his name. Right now I'm just adding like the basic shadows on the skin. And I'm also like shading her collarbone. Oh my gosh, I love shading collarbones. Don't ask me why. Guys, I just I just love drawing marbles. Okay, so now at the present time, I'm going to be fixing this ugly mess I made. Because like taking a long break from this piece actually made me see a lot more mistakes. Okay, first mistake is this nose. What was I thinking? I know I was struggling before, but like, it's ugly. Since I've been doing more traditional art since like my stylus broke, my style of noses has actually changed a bit. So like, seeing this is like, ew. Okay, mistake number two. I like made this, the shading of the skin really muddy. So I'm gonna be adding some colors of different hues so that it doesn't look so ugly. I don't know why I like adding this like weird circle on the tip of my noses, but I think it looks cute, okay? Um, I've been meaning to find a new method of drawing curly hair and I quite like this one. So new new art style anybody? Fluffy but slightly chunky lashes are so pretty. Mistake number three, um, the value ranges and like, the shadows just feel a bit off. So I'm going to be kind of fixing that. I know this is like number one pro tip don't do, like don't use pure black, but I'm gonna break some rules today. Oh my gosh, I highlight my favorite part. Oh my gosh, I like. Oh my gosh, I highlight. Oh my gosh, I highlight. That was terrible. What the f I know that last part was probably not like funny at all, but I found it funny and that's all that matters. This face is really giving Sam the arts, and I'm really not trying to draw like him, so um, I think we're gonna change it. Okay, this looks a lot better, I think. Okay, I'm just gonna like add some finishing touches, and then we're gonna be done, and I'm gonna show you this 
absolutely love the comeback piece because I'm amazing and awesome. Okay, here's the finished product. I think it looks a lot better since taking a break, so maybe I'll have one of those weird random art improvements. I love you guys so much, and thank you to every single one of you who has continued to support me thus far. I'm planning on being more consistent, so stay tuned!